Uh, top three things in my notebook this morning. Number one is Japan, number two is commodities, and number three are the financials. Now first on Japan, the correlation risk to the Japanese equity market remains surreal. So again, last night, what you had was actually a blow off in liquidity. In, in other words, people were trying to get liquid. Uh, what they do when they do that is they go into cash and they sometimes go into yens. Uh, so yens were immediate term trade overbought up 0.7% versus the US dollar. And what the Nikkei doesn't like about that is just what it doesn't like about that. The Nikkei will only go up when the yen goes down. That is the correlation. So don't forget it. The Nikkei down 1.7% overnight. Don't forget that if you bought the Nikkei on the cheerleading of the central planning, which is of course capitulated on December the 8th, you're down 6.5% from there. So again, you gotta be up almost 8% from that level if your poor broker puts you into that just to get back to break even. Now, we don't like to do that. We like to protect you from drawdown risks and in things like commodities, which is point number two, there has been one heck of a drawdown. So this morning, people are waking up and they're saying, oh, what happened to copper? What happened to copper? I mean, copper's down like 20% since October, McFly. Uh, copper's down almost 25% since June. So again, the entire commodity complex, which you can see uh, alongside that copper chart, continues to tell you one very explicit signal, which is called deflation. So again, if you're positioned for the deflation, you're quite happy with your year to date. The CRB index already down almost 5% for the year to date with TLT. Again, the other way to play, growth slowing globally and deflation is what? Through the long bond, the TLT up over 5% for the year to date, all, already a 10% performance divergence in not being long inflation expectations and being long, again, growth slowing and deflation. So I hope you got that right. Final point, one of the final sectors to take the knockdown from the deflation domino. Again, the deflation domino, that's a mouthful. The deflation dominoes follow a path. And again, it's followed the path that is through strong dollar, through the oil price, into the energy stocks, into the energy bonds, into the high yield debt market, into the late cycle stocks, which price on inflation expectations, which include the financials and the industrials. And there you have it. Net interest margin compression this morning for the fine folks at JP Morgan. And no, I don't like to call people folks for political reasons. That is what it is. Again, do not be long the financials. It is on our short side. Again, in as much as industrials are because we don't like late cycle stocks. We like early cycle stocks. But again, we like them on pullbacks. So if you get a big pullback, like in KB Homes yesterday, great. You can buy them there. You don't have to own them the whole way up. And those are your top three things.